Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Harold Belcher, and the news. In the news tonight, the president's trip to Moscow. By satellite, we take you now to Moscow Airport and newsman Rand Nether. Now, this is Barry Suffern in Moscow. Remember, Alexei Kosygin has just welcomed President Nixon to Russia with these words. Hello, you good-looking thing, you. To which Mr. Nixon has responded... Barry Zephyrin, RBC News. Your trip to Moscow is finally reality. Tell me, when did you first start planning this trip? Since 15 years ago. 15 years ago? Well, that sure is a long time. You bet your sweet pooper. Uh, well, sir, can you tell us what took so long? I stopped at a roadhouse in Texas. Mr. Gosegan, can you tell us what was your reaction when you heard that President Nixon was going to mine Haiphong Harbor? What am I going to do? Mr. Premier, I understand the national pastime in China is ping pong or table tennis. What is the most popular sport here in Russia? Mr. President, you seem to be having some difficulty adjusting to the different time zones here. What seems to be the problem? When it's night over here, over there, it's breaking down. The motorcade has now departed Moscow Airfield en route to the Kremlin. Wait, we have just heard President Nixon whisper to Mrs. Kosygin. Oh, the kiss in the mailbox, come on in. At the Kremlin now, where a huge reception has begun. We have an average Russian citizen with us. Uh, sir, can you tell me what you think of Premier Kosygin? We're all just children. At his feet. Mr. President, I understand you and Mrs. Nixon attended a Russian ballet. How was it? Anything's better than nothing. President Nixon has asked for Mirko Sagan, and we quote. Do you, do you, do you, do you want to dance? To which Premier Kosygin has responded, and again, we quote, Nobody likes a smart... Excuse me, gentlemen, but uh, you see... That's what happens when two worlds collide. Mr. President, can you tell us what might happen if you and Premier Kosygin cannot agree on arms limitations? Would you want the world to end? Well, Mr. President, could you say then that there will be complete harmony between the U.S. and Russia in, say, two or three years? Maybe it's gonna take a little bit longer. Well, the historic trip has ended, and as President Nixon, his face tear-stained, embraces Premier Kosygin, we can hear the president say, It's over, our love affair. And that's it from here. Gentlemen, do you have a final word for our listeners? Ain't nothing shaking but the lid on the tree.